Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new set of videos for this week. I am currently at Copar Dumont in the sublot and I'll be looking at two cars for this video. So, without further ado, let's check the first one, shall Here's we? Here's the first one for you guys. It's a 2014 Audi Q7. It has a premium plus package, so it's like the mid-term level. Uh, it has a 3.0 uh, V6 supercharged engine. It is all-wheel drive, being Audi Quattro, obviously. It has 111,000 miles, it has salvage title, of course. According to Copart listing, it runs and drives. The main damage, as you can see, guys, is the front-end damage. And it is listed on the Copart listing as front-end damage. And according to Epic Event, it was involved only in one accident. Probably it's the same accident that caused this damage in here. It is on pure sale, so the highest bid would get it. And I'm just wondering, guys, why it's sitting at zero dollars right now. So, yeah. Let's check this car closely. Uh, should we make like a, a walk around the exterior of the car? Yeah, yeah. Let's do this before we examine the front end damage. All right, so what do we have in here? All right, nice wheels. This side actually looks very good. Yeah, like no damage at all. At the back in here, yeah. I will never understand Audi why they have T, though the engine is supercharged. I'm not sure why they're doing this. All right, so there are some scratches in here, a lot of scratches actually, as you can see, from uploading and loading uh, stuff. Okay, it's gonna be tight in here, guys, sorry, but I'll try my best to show you this side. This side looks good as well. So, as you can see, guys, the damage is actually like in here. I'm not sure if the fender is damaged or not, but I can tell there will be a problem when you open the driver's door. It will rub against the fender in here. Okay, all right. So now let's take a look at the damage itself. So as you can see, guys, uh, it's like front-end collision. Uh, these supports in here, probably, yeah, this one should extend more than this. So probably like they cut it or something like that. Uh, is this secondary radiator damaged or something? I'm afraid that guys, if I'm gonna start the car, it will gush oil or coolant. No, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's connected. So it's well connected and uh, there's nothing like, like uh, a loose hose or something like this. Okay, let's take a look in here actually. Well here, it doesn't look that bad. And I don't think, I don't think there will be a damage to the suspension or anything else okay so that's good that's good i'm not sure if this radiator can be saved or not because it has these uh well, they will affect the cooling but yeah okay so the hood also is damaged as you can see here guys dented and we have hints of the uh, headlight as you can see is it adaptive or something? I'm not sure. Uh, there should be like kind of like a electric motor to move this, but I don't see it. Okay, this is like the module for it. And yeah, that's all I can see here, guys. Is that open here? Can you open it? I'm not sure. We will check that, of course, guys. Before we start the car, we have to make sure that it has enough oil in it. If we have the oil dipstick, of course. All right, so that's the damage, guys. Let's take a look at the interior. It's a black interior as well, very nice. Oh, we do have like some rubber here that goes, I think like on the, uh, on, the on like, uh, this is like uh, kind of like, goes like between like the body of the car and the hood. So, yeah. Okay, uh, I see, I see, okay. So, someone tried to kill the car or something, or no, actually, he cannot get it out, that's interesting. Okay, alright, let's see, uh, what do we have in here, push start stop, that's nice, mm, nice panoramic sunroof, leather seats, in very good condition actually. At the back in here is very nice as well. Oh, we do have a lot of bars in here. That's nice. 
Okay, let's see. Can we open the trunk? Now it's dead, so. And more likely it's uh, electric tailgate, so we won't be able to open it. Let's take a look in here, quick look. Yeah, nice and clean. And here, ah, yeah, I cannot open the door like further than that. As you can see, guys, because as I said before, like the, the door is actually rubbing against the uh, front fender. Okay, so that's open, but I'm not sure why the hood won't open. Let's try one more time. Okay. Yeah, I see. Let me try to do something like that. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that was this one here, guys, was stuck. Although, like, when you do it like this, it should work, but because of the damage in here, it wasn't able, like, to go all the way. Okay. Alright. Alright, guys. So, that's the engine. Let's check the oil. We do have dipstick, and we do have oil. That's good. That's good. Let's take an extra look in here. Yeah, looks good. Alright, perfect. So, yeah, let me just connect the jump pack, guys. I'll get back to you. Alright, guys, so I just connected the jump pack. And I checked that we have enough oil in the engine to start the engine. It's gonna be tight in here, Ugh, but I'll try my best. Okay, that's a good sign. We do have power. And saying remove key. Well, now after connecting the battery, I hope you have, uh, yeah. So it was like because like there's no power, so the key was locked. Once you connect it to the power, it will unlock this lock, so, and you can remove the key. All right, so, let's see. Well, do you know what, guys, before we do this, let's check if the start-stop will work, actually. Yeah, it works, perfect, very good, very good. Because usually, like, uh, Audi are not very, very um, confident with their start-stop system. And so what they did, actually, um, <laughs> you will laugh at this. They kept uh, like the usual like turn key to start the car along with this. But I think like the newer Audis, they are reliable. So they just like kept this without having this. Okay, let's take a look here. That's a good sign. We, do, we don't have a check engine light. Very good. We do have a TPMS light and all of the warning lights that were actually circulating. Let's see if I can take them again. Okay, I can't get them from the menu here, guys, but we can actually do something like uh, here, I guess. Yeah, I remember. This is very similar to what I had before. I think you go to info. No. Car, I guess. Yes, car. Vehicle, servicing and checks. Uh... Service intervals. No? Huh. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Let's take a look at them in here. So. Yeah, let's see, guys. Just like, uh, like it's complaining that the light, the front left headlight is not working. And yeah, that's it. Other than that. I don't see any other problems. Navigation is working. That's good. Now let's take a look at the engine and how it runs. Ah, it's very tight in here, guys. Sorry. All right. So first of all, yeah, the alternator is charging. That's good. So we can just disconnect our jump back. Put it here on the side. All right, so, I mean, starting healthy, no issues. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's see. Do we have a working AC? That's what we'll be checking now. Let's 
is lowest, AC on. And is it on the right mode? Yeah, it's on the right mode. Okay. You have cold AC? Not yet. We'll keep trying for a while, of course, guys. Okay, while it's doing this, let's check. We'll go actually into gear, no issues. That's D. Uh, parking brake is released, so... Wow, nice. It drives nicely. It's very good. Put in reverse. Do we have... We have parking sensors, but for some reason they don't work. That's interesting. Okay, I'll stop in here. I just move a little bit like this so that I have more space. Okay, I'll put it now into gear. But still, guys, ah, I cannot open the door like wider than this. So, oops, I dropped my phone. <laughs> okay. All right, now, as you can see guys, like the door is rubbing against the fender here. So you cannot open further than that. Otherwise it will damage the fender. So the fender needs to be like replaced the right way. All right, so as you can see guys, the engine is running smooth. Let's check, do we have like gushing oil or coolant? No, nothing, everything is good. Engine is running smooth. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now let's take out the let's take a look at the parts inside because we have a lot of parts in here. All right, so the splash cover, some parts from the headlight, and part of the, the of the bumper actually. You can use these LEDs if they are working. If they are still working, so because I know they are expensive. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look underneath here, nothing. We do have third row seating, guys, as you can see, like these are like the, uh, yeah. These are like the seat back for the third row seating. All right, very good, very good. Nice, nice. I like these cars, guys, when there's like only one damage you have to take care of. And then after that, the car will be a good running, a good daily driver car. Yeah, the engine is running smooth. So, as I told you before, guys, this is like where like the uh, the rubber at the front seat should go, like this. Okay. Very good. Let's give it a couple of revs. Yeah, that's that's a healthy engine that's a healthy engine it really is and no smoke perfect so now let's put it back this position yeah there are some like nagging issues with this car you have to take care of but other than that it's a very nice car the the AC is getting colder, but not very cold, but it's getting colder, it's getting there, so that's good, that's good. Let's take a look in here, actually, Let's see. Alright, uh, some manual stuff. Alright, yeah, yeah. It's a very nice family car. It really is. No check engine light, just TPMS, and a couple of things were damage from the accident no airbag light that's a good sign so yeah very nice that's very nice so yeah guys I'll just uh, turn the AC off and turn the car off probably yeah there's like another one for it <laughs> let's try to start it again we'll start nah it's dead <laughs> alright guys yeah that's a nice car it really is. So all I need to do, guys, is just take care of this damage, and you got yourself a very nice SUV, guys. So there's a Fourier, the 2014 Audi Q7.
let's jump yeah, to the next so here's one. the next one for you it's a 2013 ford f-150 it is the super crew and it is the king ranch so yeah it's like the fully loaded virgin it's a very nice truck okay so it has a 3.5 v6 ecoboost engine from ford the turbocharged one uh being a truck it has like the rear wheel drive with all wheel drive capability obviously uh it has 128,000 miles it has salvage title and as you can see from here the main damage is listed as the rear end according to copart listing it turns and drives and according to epic event it was involved in one accident and it is currently sitting at $3,900. Yes, it's the King Grange, so that's why. <laughs> but it is on pure sale, I guess. Uh, yes, it is on pure sale. All right, so before we take a look at the damage, closer look at the damage, uh, you get like a spider here with the truck. Uh, let's actually take a look at the rest of this truck. That's a very nice truck. It really is. Like it's fully loaded. This one's stuck open. You have to take care of that. Uh, so the front end, it looks very good. Sorry guys, it's very tight in here, but I'll show it to you here like that. So as you can see, it's missing some like of these plastic trim pieces at the front, I guess. But other than that, I didn't see like any damage. This side here also looks very good. As you can see this side of the bed is in good condition but where the damage is it is not unfortunately as you can see in here as you can see guys uh, our friend is hanging in here there is like a dent here to the side and like the whole shape of it as you can see it's like bent like the bed is bent like, like like that so yeah yeah let's take a look at the damage underneath well it doesn't look that bad to be honest with you like I can show you in here guys yeah I know like uh, you can see like the tow uh, package like this one here yeah it's like yeah it hit actually like the spare tire pretty badly okay but i guess guys it's like very easy to work on these like you have plenty of space and probably because of this damage in here guys as you can see like there is a bent in here see and i'm gonna actually try to uh, move this up a little bit i can't reach it okay oh i see so it's like this i see okay but there is like a bent over there guys so yeah so the bed and the tailgate were mangled pretty badly but other than that i didn't see any damage wow nice very nice that's really nice. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Smells like leather. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is the King Ranch, so that's expected. <laughs> yeah, very nice interior. Very nice. Do we have power? No, it's dead. All right, guys, so as usual, let me just connect the jump pack. I'll get right, back guys, to you. So I just connected the jump pack. Let's check if you have enough oil. It's very hard. Not sure why. All right, we do have plenty of oil, actually. It's a little bit dirty, but still, we can start the engine if we have power, of course. All right, so we do have power, as you can see. Wow, very nice. Okay, let's see, we'll start. Yeah, start right away, no issues. Very nice. Oil change required, driver door ajar. 
low tire pressure. That's it? No, that's nice actually. Yeah, that's all. Do we have airbag light? No. Check engine light? No. Nothing. That's very nice. And the engine is running very smooth, guys. I I don't like feel any vibrations and I can't hear any like weird noises, so that's a good sign actually. So now let's see, do we have AC? Yes, we do. It's getting colder now. Now it's cold. Nice, nice. A very nice truck. I like the colors. I really like it, guys. It's a very nice truck. And this seat, <laughs> it can recline like that. Wow, that's nice. I like it. Okay. All right. Let me let me show you guys what I was talking about. Ugh. Is that is that like a feature in it or something? Or is it broken? Probably. Like the whole seat like reclines like this. That's nice. That's really nice. If it's not broken, of course. Probably it's broken. I should not do this. <laughs> Let's take a look at the engine bay. Yeah, engine's running perfect and smooth. And the alternator is charging very good. Very, very good. So we can just disconnect our jump pack. And put it aside. Let's put it in here. It's nice and dry in here, guys. It is nice and dry. Let's take a look underneath. Yeah, nothing is gushing. That's very good. I think we are good in here. And just close it. All right. Now, let's be. In. Let's see. We're we'll going to gear. I mean, I'm pretty sure, guys. This truck was salvaged just because of the damage caused by the accident. That's all. I'm pretty sure about this. All right, let's see. Yeah, it goes forwards, no issues. Backwards. Yeah, it goes backwards and we have a nice backup camera. And rear park, eight. They are actually working. And it shows like there's like a red zone where like, this red zone's like where like it's like you are getting very close. Uh, steering, wow, feels like brand new. Brakes, perfect, on spot. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Feels great, guys, no issues. Yeah, nice, very nice, very nice truck, guys. It's a very nice truck. Wow, I really like how it drives, it drives perfect, no issues at all. So it's just like the damage at the back guys, other than that, I think everything is working, like windows work, AC is working now, touch screen working, no issues, you do have navigation as well, yeah, that's very nice, that's really nice, I mean, King Ranch. And someone took really good care of this truck. That's nice. That's really nice. I really like it, guys. I wish I had enough money to buy it. Ah, I don't. <laughs> and in this regard, guys, like, uh, I'm getting like almost 650 subscribers. It would be nice if you subscribe to the channel. If you like, if you like Copart, walk around, stuff like that. Yeah, just subscribe. I'll be uploading like two or three videos at minimum weekly. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy this kind of content and you're watching the video right now, why don't subscribe? Why don't consider subscribing? Because I'm like at the um, yeah, I'm very close to getting like a uh, thousand subscribers and start like to monetize. I mean, 
I want to get money to buy this truck, obviously. <laughs> but it's a good starting point because I really like to have like a truck, but I don't have like enough money to do that. So yeah, yeah. So please, guys, consider subscribing since we are on this topic. All right, guys. So let's go back to the truck. So it really nice. It is really very nice. And the last thing we need to check is that smoke. Yeah, the engine's running very smooth. Revs high very quick. That's nice. Like for, for, for like a truck engine, that's like, uh, like revving speed is very high actually. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, no smoke at all. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, all right. I actually did that. <laughs> Sorry for whoever is gonna buy this truck, guys, but yeah, I do have like uh, mud everywhere in here. All right, yeah, so it really is very nice. It's a very nice truck. It's a very nice truck. So AC is working, radio is working, touch is working, windows working, everything is working. So you just need to take care of the damage and you got yourself a very nice truck. Let's turn it off. Let's try actually to, to start again. Nah. So yeah, probably like you need to drive it more regular to get it to get the battery uh, charged. All right, guys. So here's it for you: the 2013 Ford of 15 feet, F150. Sorry. Right, guys, so right. that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos and hit the like button if you like what you see. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.